Yo, it's your boy Joe. I'm gonna try something new here. I'm gonna try to try out a review because I feel like I need to put a bit more content on my own channel. So here we go. This is a review of Terminator Genesis. Sis, Genesis, whatever you wanna call it. The film's spelled wrong, but that's that's nothing compared to the grand scheme of things. So here we go. What's the story? Well, Kyle Reese is sent back in time to save Sarah Connor. But when he gets there, Sarah Connor is already a friggin' badass. Like, she's already... Imagine how the end of Terminator 2. That's what she's in... That's what she's like at the start of the film. And it turns out that there's an old Terminator protecting her already. So it's just like, what the hell's going on here? It's a bit bit of a mystery. All right, so as the film's going on, you find out that um, John Connor... For some reason, has been sent back in time to stop Kyle Reese and Sarah Connor from destroying Skynet. Skynet is not even called Skynet anymore; it's called Genesis. That's why, that's why the film's called Genesis. Um, yeah, it turns out that um, all the operating systems, you see, like Windows and Apple and Android, you know, all, that's all Genesis. The new OS is Gen- Genesis. Everyone's got it in their phone, their TV. Their computers, everything is Genesis. So when Sky Skynet is gonna upload and become self-aware, it's gonna take over all these operating systems and do some crazy madness. So during the film, uh, what's his name, John Connor, he somehow was turned into a machine, but it's not like any regular machine. It's like a mix between man and machine, but because he's been changed at a cellular level, you could argue the fact that he's not even John Connor anymore. And he's preaching some mad shit. He's like, I will not stop until Skynet is uploaded. So, since when he said that, I was like, this ain't fucking John Connor. This is some some cyborg prick. We need to take him down. And also, I don't know how they've done it. They've made, they've made a new Terminator killer. That is badass. In Terminator 3, that little woman Terminator was kind of shitty to me. I, I, I always like the T-1000 or, or the regular Arnold in the first film. But this this new Terminator that um, John Connor is, this hybrid man and machine thing, is fucking, it's unstoppable. You can't beat him. The, the only thing that phases him is like magnets and stuff like that. So th- there's a part where they go to the hospital. And you know those little MR, MRI scanners? They f- they're starting to fight. The, the T101, T they call it, I think they call it Arnold. Let's just call him Arnold. Arnold, yeah, is too slow to fight him. He's just too slow. The, it's, uh, it's so good. The action is so good in the film. It's fucking amazing. I just, I just love the story as well. It's like, when you go into this film, you don't know what to expect. But, no, you think you know what you're going to expect. But then the film throws you for a loop through with all these plot lines and alternate realities that that they um spin out it's, it's it's good like if you're a fan of the of the terminator series you will love this because you you won't expect the things that you expect it just throws new things in your face you love the action but one thing this the same thing with thing with avengers the cg was not all that it wasn't up to par like the t t1000 t1000 for you Terminator news out of there is the one that turns into liquid and can morph his body into bladed weapons. The T-1000 looked exactly the same as it did in Terminator 2 all them years ago. They haven't really advanced in the CG technology. I think they could have proved the, the graphics a little bit more. But John Connor, when his, all his skin is melted off and shit, that looks <laughs> sick. Oh, fucking hell, someone's messaging me on my phone. Sorry. Sorry. All right, keeping it professional here. But yeah, to wrap things up, Terminator had a good story. I'm a fanboy. It might be colouring my perception. I saw some negative re- negative reviews, but I didn't let that taint my perception when I went in to see it. When I came out of it, I was like, you know what? This film was fucking amazing. Arnold Schwarzenegger was fucking amazing. Action was great. What's my rating of the film? My rating is go fucking watch it. Done. I'll be back. What?